Foxborough, Mass. Business being business, Vince Wilfork left the New England Patriots after the 2014 season and after earning his second Super Bowl ring to join the Houston Texans as a free agent. But his heart never left New England. And so Wednesday afternoon, he came back to Gillette Stadium to sign a contract allowing him to retire as a New England Patriot. I spent 11 great years here, Will Fork said at his retirement news conference. My resume would NT have been what it was without New England. For the majority of my career, this was home. So all the memories I've made over the years, it would NT have happened without the Patriots. I always wanted to come back and be a Patriot for life. I never wanted to leave, but things happened. Business is business. It happened but I knew once I retired, I knew who I wanted to retire with. It was a fitting end to a 13-year career that should lead Will Fork to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Was there a better nose tackle than Will Fork in his prime? I think not. And Bill Belichick, who's seen his share of half players over his legendary coaching career, certainly took the first step toward Will Fork's enshrinement when he called him the best defensive lineman I've ever coached. Heady praise half praise. And that's as a player, leader, on the field, off the field, practice player, Belichick continued. Wednesday's news conference was filled with light-hearted stories from Patriots owner Robert Kraft, Belichick and Will Fork, as well as some heartfelt moments. Kraft paused when he spoke of the relationship between the Will Fork family and his, especially his late wife, Myra. The Crafts were important to Will Fork, who lost both his parents David and Barbara while he was a student at the University of Miami. Will Fork, always the last player off the field following pre-game warm-ups, had a tradition where he would kiss Myra Kraft on the cheek, and then turn and kiss Robert Kraft on the cheek, before he went to the locker room. The first game after Myra Kraft died, Will Fork approached Robert Kraft and kissed him on one cheek. Then he kissed him on the other and said, that's for mama. Will Fork broke down briefly while talking about his parents, saying his one regret was that they did and he get a chance to see the son live out the dream. Will Fork was an enigma as a football player, a 6 for 2, 325 pound, probably more mountain of a man who was athletic and nimble. He was not just quick but fast. He could run, he could hit, and when he wanted to, he would NT be move. He was a first-round draft pick in 2004 who joined the Super Bowl championship team and felt every day of his career, he said, that he had to earn his keep on the roster. He relished every minute, every conversation, with his teammates. My teammates made me who I was, he said. Nose tackle isnt a glamour position, but Will Fork made the most of his opportunity. I always wanted to be great, he said. And you can't be great without taking chances. I was a player who, even though I was a nose tackle, I took chances. I was never afraid to be great. He finished his career with 370 tackles in 189 games. He had 5 forced fumbles, 12 fumble recoveries, 16 sacks and 3 interceptions. Yes, 3 interceptions. He was a 5-time Pro Bowl selection. But his impact on the Patriots went beyond statistics. Belichick spoke highly of his leadership skills when he called Will Fork the captain of the captains. He was the guy the other players asked to talk to Belichick when there was an issue. He was the guy they leaned on when they needed help. He was the guy the other players looked to for friendship. Will Fork, his wife Bianca and the family became the team family. They became involved in the community. They made a difference. He was the true leader of the team, the voice of the team, said Belichick. That's how much respect they had for him. And I leaned on him heavily in terms of what the team needed, how to prepare for a game, where we were each week, where we were at certain points of the season. Will Fork, who turns 36 in November, said he is retiring because he can no longer mentally prepare for rigors of the NFL. Physically, he said, he could play for several more years. Mentally, it was time to go. His last game, much like his first one, was played at Gillette Stadium when the Patriots defeated the Texans, 3,416, on January 15 in an AFC Divisional Playoff game. What's next? I have no plans, he said. For the last 20 years, I've been on a schedule. The last thing I'm going to do is jump into something right now and jump into a schedule. I'm going to do things I want to do. Wake up when I want, fish when I want, grill when I want, golf when I want. Mike Lowe can be contacted at 7,916,422 or email protected Twitter Michaela Weff.